Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how to install the DaVinci Resolve 16 beta without having to nuke your DaVinci Resolve 15 install. Now, first of all, credit where credit is due. I got this idea from the Learn DaVinci Resolve training channel. So go check them out and you'll give their video a like, uh, you know, say, hey, Theo sent us here. Thanks for doing that, etc. But we're going to do this one in Windows instead of on the Macintosh. So the first thing you do is you have your Resolve 15 open up. You haven't done anything yet. That's great. You're going to go up to this little guy, and you've got your Resolve 15 database. This will probably say something like local database or something whenever you do it. And you're going to go ahead and hit this little backup button. Navigate to a good place to install a Resolve database backup. Let's go ahead and save, and I'll overwrite this current one. And this will take a couple seconds. And now our Resolve 15 database has been backed up successfully, so we can hit OK, and we can go ahead and quit out of Resolve now. Now the next thing that we will go ahead and do is go over to our DaVinci Resolve install folder. So this is this PC, local disk C, program files, Blackmagic Design. So I've got DaVinci Resolve. I'm just going to go ahead and copy, control C, paste, control V, give yourself administrator permission. And that just duplicates our folder there. And now we can rename this to something like Resolve 15, enter, administrator permission. All right, now we're ready to install Resolve 16. So now we've got our Resolve 16 executable here. We'll double click and we'll go ahead and do the install process just as we would normally. I'll zoom through this because you don't need to see how to install Resolve 16. And then we'll hit finish. Okay, now we can go ahead and open up our new install of Resolve. And now whenever you install this, it's gonna ask you to update your database which you can do now. Uh, I, I didn't get the prompt because I've already gone through this process, but you just hit OK and you'll be able to update it from there. And so now you've got your Resolve 16 all ready to go. So you've got your projects all here. It should update all them fine. But now let's say you have a project that people are paying you to do and you'd want to do it in a beta. You can exit out of Resolve 16. So now you can go back to that DaVinci Resolve 15 folder that we made before. Double click, scroll all the way down to you see your Resolve EXE. Double click on this. Now you see we're launching Resolve 15. Pretty cool. Now when you open Resolve 15 for the first time, you'll see in your disk databases, you'll have your local database and it'll have a little error next to it since you updated it to Resolve 16. But since you backed up your old database, all you have to do is go up to this little restore button. Then we'll select our backed up file, hit open. And now we'll give this a name like Resolve 15 database and we'll choose a location. So in my C folder, I just created this Resolve database folder. I'll hit select folder and I'll hit create and I'll restore. And the Resolve database has been restored successfully. So now all of your projects are back and able to be used. So I hope this helps out. I know that this has been a question that's been floating around on the internet for a while. And I'm glad that the, I'm pretty sure the Learning DaVinci Resolve channel came up with this. If not, you know, credit where credit is due, whoever came up with it. This will make, I know, my life a lot easier when you need to switch back and forth between the two. So, anyway, I hope you liked this little tutorial. If you liked, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Mr. Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out mrmedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of LUTs and stock footage and other stuff that'll make your color grading slash editing career just a little bit easier or at least more fun. But anyway, once again, I'm with you with Mr. Media. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.